everyone's talking about magnesium at the yes. moment and they're all talking about different kinds and I think that's confusing. Is there a simple way of explaining magnesium and what we should be taking? Your body will absorb the magnesium if it has a weak bond. If it can the get to it. The stronger the bond, the harder it is to break the compound and absorb the magnesium ion. So interestingly, magnesium oxide, which has a very high level of magnesium in the compound, 60% of magnesium oxide is elemental magnesium, but it's got an incredibly strong bond. The chances of absorbing that magnesium ion is very, very slim. You know, you would have to ingest a hell of a lot of magnesium oxide to have any chance of absorbing a small amount of elemental magnesium. When you go down to magnesium chloride, magnesium chloride has only 12% elemental magnesium, from 60% down to 12%, but the bond is the weakest of all the compounds. So as soon as you apply it onto the skin, the bond breaks. It's essentially ionized. Uh, it then releases, and as soon as that's released, your body will absorb it. Magnesium glycinate, for example, magnesium malate, citrate, they also have around about 12% elemental magnesium. The bonds are stronger, but they are they can be released. So they're also good forms that you could ingest. But if you take them orally, <coughs> they're quite good. Aren't yes, they? absolutely. They'll so in a powder form. Because you've got a yeah. longer transit time, you've got more chance of absorption.